So here in this video we are gonna demonstrate our portable ICU ventilator Optima. So before starting the video just wanted to give information about some additional changes which had been done in the ventilator. So before starting the ventilation, <coughs> first of all uh, we have to do the functional test of the machine, functional test. So to do the functional test we have to just connect the patient circuit and the flow sensor and here one test plug is given so we have to connect this flow sensor to the to this test plug and just start the test so before starting the test <coughs> one information will be shown press the confirm button if alarm LED and sound is working so alarm LED is glowing and the sound is also can be heard so you have to confirm it first and then you have to start the test so test will get start automatically so once the test is completed for the proximal flow sensor test just read the information given over here so Remove the flow sensor, keep it in air and then start it. Your flow sensor will get test. After completing the test, just close it and connect your patient. So test lung is connected. After that, patient selection screen is there. In that previous patient option is there, adult and pediatric. To select the patient before that, select the weight of the patient through this rotary knob to confirm it just press it and then once <coughs> selection is done just start the ventilation so this is our ventilation screen ventilator screens so there are different types of screens are there so to view that screens just slide it so this is the first screen with the three waveforms given. Uh, first is the pressure waveform, second is the flow and the volume. So this is the monitored parameters and this is for the user selection. User can change the parameters through this rotary knob. And to confirm it just press the button. After that uh, second screen is there with loops third screen with the big numerics uh, here with the loops is given so you can select the reference loop for better examination and for better examination you can capture the loop and just for the further study you can view the loop to come out of it just again press the reference loop and your ventilation will go on so this is the types of the screens given in the ventilator <coughs> so moving towards is switches so first uh, different switches are given so first which is the freeze uh, to freeze the particular waveform you can use the button and then you can examine that particular waveform you can study the particular waveform after that defreeze it and then inspiration hold expiration hold is given inspiration hold and uh, if you are using inspiration hold then your inspiration inspiratory phase will get hold for 30 seconds same goes with expiration hold after that manual breaths manual inspiration is used to give the manual breaths manual breaths will get indicated in blue color after that 100% oxygen is given for 2 minutes 100% of O2 will go to the patient monitor auto will be seen here after that automatic option is there auto
Atoma is, is for the nebulization. This is the nebulization port. After that alarm silence key is there, mode setting and system setting. Alarm silence to silent the particular alarms. And then system settings. In the system settings, some common in system settings are given like general settings, alarm settings, system logs. So in general settings, just you can select the mode of the machine. Then date and time is given to add the date and time. And the waveform selection option is given. You can select the pattern of the waveform. In alarm settings, various parameters are given. In that, you can select the limits of the parameters. For the selection, just use the rotary knob and just confirm it by pressing. And to save the changes, just close it. After that, system log is given. In system log, um, alarms history has been given. Means you can see uh, whichever alarms already occurred. So that history is given in the system log. Mm, and after that, biomed option is there, but uh, biomed option is disabled over here. But it, it it will be enabled in the standby mode only. After that, in information system version, software version, and all that information is given. <coughs> In the mode settings, <coughs> different modes are given. In this, uh, assist control V, assist control P are the VCV and the PCV mandatory modes. And also the pressure sup uh, support modes are given. And the spontaneous modes in CPAP and DLPAP along with the PRVC mode is also given. So in this, <coughs> assist control P, SMVP, and spawn mode can be used as invasive and non-invasive as well both so in spontaneous mode backup mode is given and some auxiliary settings are there along with these values some additional settings are given like auxiliary settings in the auxiliary settings different options are there Psi option, leak value, leak compensation, nebulization. To use the Psi option, just click it. Then you can select the number of the Psi breaths wanted to give in one cycle. You can select the size of the breath and the time interval. After that leak value is given, leak compensation option is given. If you are selecting the percentage, that much percent leak will get compensated. Mobilization timings are given in minutes. And flow support option is given. So that's it about the demonstration and now to turn off the ventilator first of all we have to put the machine in the standby mode to put the machine in the standby mode just click this switch and press the encoder knob to enter standby then you have to press the encoder knob the machine will enter in the standby mode and then switch off your machine.